Welcome to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Lopez Quezon Branch. PUP Lopez is among the 22 branches and campuses under the PUP system. It was the first branch established in Southern Tagalog on February 13, 1979, by virtue of the Presidential Decree Number 1341, issued by the President of the Republic of the Philippines. PUP is a government educational institution governed by Republic Act Number 8292, known as the Higher Education Modernization Act of 1997, and its implementing rules and regulations contained in the Commission on Higher Education Memorandum Circular Number 4, Series of 1997. As PUP envisioned to become the premier campus in the region, PUP promotes quality and responsive academic programs through productive educational innovations and good governance. Currently, the branch offers the following graduate programs. The branch is committed to promote quality education in various disciplines by offering the following undergraduate programs. To democratize access to educational opportunities, PUP offers the following diploma programs. The commitment of its administration, faculty and staff Students, alumni, and linkages has formed the cornerstone of PUP Lopez that has exceeded expectations with every generation of the graduates it has produced since its establishment. The branch takes pride in producing board examination top notchers and successful alumni. Envisioned as a research-oriented community, our faculty are actively engaged in the extensive research and development programs and has produced research outputs over the years. In consonance with the 10 pillars of the university, the branch maintains its active and sustained stakeholders' engagement through its extension projects and activities to promote synergistic, productive, strategic networks and partnerships. Our faculty members actively maintain their affiliation in different professional organizations. The UP Lopez branch is an active member of Southern Tagalog Consortium for Industry and Energy Research and Development and the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization. DUP Lopez adheres in the compliance with the requirements of Commission on Higher Education, accrediting agency of chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines, and other international accrediting and regulatory bodies for higher education, to sustain better academic performance and excellence among our students and faculty. PUP Lopez will continue to play its great role in improving the lives of the youth and their families and help them in nation building, embracing its goal to transform PUP Lopez into a premier university through productive institutional innovations and good governance. And this will be achieved with the continuous support of the PUP top management officials and other PUP stakeholders.
This is the 42nd year-end commencement exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines Lopez Quezon branch for academic year 2020-2021. We will now proceed to the presentation of the faculty, the branch officials, the university officials, the PUP Board of Regents, the Mace of the University, the Chairperson of the PUP Board of Regents, and our commencement speaker, Dr. Milabel Enriquez Ho, Executive Director, Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines. The faculty. The branch officials. Dr. Rufo Enweza, branch director. The University Officials Professor Pascualito B. Gatan Vice President for Branches and Satellite Campuses Ms. Marisa J. Ligaspi Vice President for Finance Professor Adam B. Ramilo Vice President for Administration Dr. Sinaida R. Sarmiento Vice President for Student Affairs and Services Dr. Ana Ruby P. Gapasin, Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, Vice President for Academic Affairs Professor Alberto C. Gilio, Executive Vice President Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, the University President. The members of the Board of Regents. Honorable Romel S. Gonzaga, President, Alianza ng Nagkakaisang Konseho ng PUP. Honorable Jean Paul G. Martires, President, Federation of Alumni Associations in PUP. Honorable Ramir M. Cruz, President, PUP Federated Faculty Association, Incorporated. 
Honorable Antonio C. Moncupa, Jr., Vice Chair, Chief Executive Officer, East-West Bank. Honorable Danilo L. Bello, Senior Vice President, Security Bank. Honorable Jose B. Patalin Hug III, Regional Director, Department of Science and Technology, National Capital Region. Honorable Rowena M. Daluso, Director for National Economics and Development Authority. Honorable Mark O. Go, Chairperson, House Committee on Higher and Technical Education, represented by Honorable Ron P. Salo. Honorable Joel Villanueva, Chairperson, Senate Committee on Higher, Technical and Vocational Education. Honorable Ronald L. Adamat, Chairperson, PUP Board of Regents, Commissioner, Commission on Higher Education. Honorable Rolando M. Covero Jr., University and Board Secretary, carrying the maze of the university. Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, University President. And our commencement speaker, Dr. Milabel Enriquez Ho, Executive Director, Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines. The Doxology. Awesome wonder, consider all the works thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the mighty thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Kailan man ikaw ang Ibigin ko, kailanman ikaw ang sasambahin ko. Ikaw ang aking Dios, walang iba kung di ikaw. Aking Panginoon sa kawalang hanggan, kailanman ikaw ang pupurihin ko. Kailanman Ataas, dakilang alan mo sa buhay ko ihahayag ang kapurihan mo kailan mano oh Dios ako sa yo. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Kailanman ikaw ang iibigin ko, kailanman itataas, Dakilang alan mo sa buhay ko Ihahayag ang kapurihan mo Kailanman o Diyos Kailanman o Diyos Kailanman o Diyos 
Ponela en mano Dios Apoyse yo How great thou art How great thou art The Philippine National Anthem proceed to the presentation of the candidates for graduation by Dr. Rufo Engueza, Branch Director, and the conferment of degrees by Dr. Manuel M. Muhi, the University President. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the 157 candidates for the degrees. Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in marketing management, bachelor of science in office administration, major in corporate transcription, diploma in electrical engineering technology, diploma in information communication technology, diploma in office management technology with specialization in legal office management, and diploma in office management technology with specialization in medical office management from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Lopez Cashin Brands for the academic year 2020-2021. The graduation of these candidates was approved by the University Academic Council and confirmed by the Board of Regents. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Charter of the University and the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, and privileges, as well as the obligations and responsibilities hereunto appertaining. Introduction of the Commencement Speaker by Dr. Manuel M. Muhi the University President. Our awardee is Karen P., the Executive Director of the Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines. ACUP is one of the country's most important accreditation organizations whose mission is to develop a mechanism for and conduct evaluations of higher education programs and institutions to advance quality education in the country because she is a member of the leading organization that upholds educational integrity and excellence. She lives up to her brand of excellence and embodies the passion for education, as well as the commitment to her sworn responsibilities. Our awardee is also an achiever. She graduated valedictorian in elementary at the Sambuanga Normal College Laboratory School and finished salutatorian in high school at Pilar College in Sambuanga City. She earned a bachelor's degree in nursing from Western Mindanao State University and a master's degree in nursing from Ateneo de Sambuanga University. She later earned a Master of Educational Administration in 1980, a Master of Arts in Education, doctorate degree in education, and a professional diploma in education. With over 40 years of progressive professional experience as a nurse, 
educator and administrator. She has held various leadership positions in various educational institutions. Aside from being the executive director of the AACU, she is also a SUP President 3, the president of Mindanao Association of State Tertiary Schools Incorporated, vice president for Mindanao, Philippine Association of State Universities and Colleges, Region 9 Regional Chair of PASO. She also held various academic positions like Vice President for Academic Affairs, Vice President for Research, Development, and Extension, Dean, and OIC Director, among others. Her stints as education administrators earned her various distinctions and awards, including Outstanding UNESCO Club Educator of the Philippines, which was awarded by the United Nations Educational and Scientific Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, and the National Association of UNESCO Clubs in the Philippines, awardee of 10 Outstanding Movers of the Philippines, Outstanding Professional of the Year in the field of nursing for the contributions to the profession nationwide, awarded by the Professional Regulation Commission, Anastasia Hiron Tupas Award, the highest and most prestigious award given by the Philippine Nurses Association to a professional nurse in recognition of her excellent performance and contribution to the nursing profession, Sambonga City Plaque of Recognition and Best of Women Award in recognition of her military services rendered to the general public in the field of education and loyalty and services awards, among others. Aside from her work in the academe, she also devotes much of her time and energy to help her communities. She has worked with government and non-government organizations, such as the United Nations Children's Fund or the UNICEF, as consultant and implementer of projects and activities in health, environment, and community development. She has also served as research coordinator for building trust and peaceful engagement to hinder human trafficking and violent extremism in the Philippines as part of the school-based peace education program by UNICEF. She also had research and project involvement with the Western Mindanao Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources and Development Consortium for Livelihood, Environmental Policies and Sustainable Development Programs. It is an honor and privilege to introduce you to a great educator and a staunch community development ad advocate on this 24th day of September 2021, on the occasion of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines academic year 2020-2021 year-end commencement exercises, the university hereby awards Dr. Milabel Ho, Executive Director of AACUP, the Tanglao ng Bayan Award. Maraming salamat po sa POP for giving me yung malaking karangalan para sa akin po, yung Tanglaw ng Bayan Award. Maraming salamat, President Muhi, at sa lahat ng academ members ng academic community ng PUP. So, let me start po. Let me share with you that when I received the invite from your very convincing and uh, Fernando Po Jr. Lookalike University President Dr. Manuel Muhi, I started to suffer from insomnia because it's not easy to be speaking before a smart crowd of PUP graduate, graduates, particularly more than 300 of you from the graduate school. It is not an easy task. But thanks to COVID-19, since our encounter is online, you'll never get to see my toes getting numb. And also, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Sanjay Claudio for sending an efficient team of videographers who make me look good today without you listening to the thundering beat of my heart and the large dose of anxiety. Thank you, Marielle, and thank you, Edwin. Here I am virtually with you, inspired, energized, and determined to make sure that I relay my message, I recount my story to you, promising you that as you listen 
you will either recall much of what I have said or forget that you have invited a commencement speaker. And so let me start by acknowledging the presence of the members of the Board of Regents, the University President, Dr. Manuel Muhi, my very good friend, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Emmanuel de Guzman, Dr. Carmen Cita Costolo, Chair of the 2021 Year End Commencement Exercises, Deans, Directors, Coordinators, Advisors, Faculty, Administrative Personnel, parents, relatives, and friends watching online, and the more than 300 graduates who are joining this virtual commencement exercises. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And I also bring you greetings from Samboanga City. Buenas tardes a todos. Y felicitaciones. That means congratulations to Batch 21, and congratulations too to the faculty who patiently become zombies to help the batch complete the coursework which allowed them to be virtually here today to be conferred with their degrees and get the well-deserved diplomas from this prestigious institution of higher learning from PUP. The acronym, according to my friend BP Mani, means Parang UP, or should I say Pogi University President. But for me, the best is PUP, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Okay, applause, please. It would have been more exciting if we met face to face today. Aside from the meeting face to face, it would also have been more exciting to exchange beso beso and warm hugs of joy after long years of hard work. But the pandemic changed the whole course of your lives and my life. It shut down your dream to go up the stage and get a good handshake from the university president, receive the diploma with accompanying sense of pride of accomplishment. The pandemic practically put your happiness to quarantine and turned celebration to isolation. However, dear graduates, in spite of the social distancing, you should be consoled that Batch 21 have been inoculated with different kinds of learning milieu, different learning space that will prepare you beyond the 21st century. The thinking that life will be difficult and that there is no or nothing to aspire for in the future becomes just a challenge. Even in the midst of adversity, you can stand proud to have been embraced, to have embraced faith more fully, live more meaningfully, value perseverance, work from home zealously, hurdling long hours of striking the computer keys from morning till late nights to meet the number of hours for micro news sessions. This and more make you a different breed of prospective workforce, a different batch of committed individuals facing the unknown fearlessly, having gone through trying times locally and globally combating the impact of virulent COVID-19. It got me thinking that for batch 2021, although you have 202 before you, you will be one of the many who shall survive the aftermath of the pandemic and want to experience the first rainbow of the new normal. So your story is different from mine as we belong to different generations, but let me emphasize that only time put us apart, but the road we used to travel through life remains the same. It is the same road that David and Goliath have taken. It is the road that Noah took to build the ark. It is the same road that every little girl and boy took in yesteryears. And definitely, it is the same road that you and I are crossing today. That is the road to success at various levels. The road to fulfill dreams and ambitions, and the same road taken with accompanying pain and woundedness 
as we all journey on and on to reach the goals that we have set to achieve the goals that have been set by our parents the goals that that we ourselves have set go follow your heart do not live a life that is dictated to you set yourself free do the things that will lead you to your destiny in due time remember not all are privileged to have gone through advanced higher education in 2029 statistics 2019 statistics only about 325 157 have been blessed to have gone to pre baccalaureate to advance higher education in state universities and colleges the group composed largely of females totaling 192,130, while the males constituted 133,027. Since you have learned and earned good skills in research in this university, explore the possibility of doing real good studies that will uplift the poverty of the Filipino people or lift up their economic deprivation and all forms of other deprivation that will bring depression out of the equation help in expanding opportunities for the filipino to be holistically sound body mind heart and soul be the advocate of truth protect integrity and keep moral and professional standards high wherever you are and whatever you do. We note that in our professional lives, there will be several distractions and temptations. Vulnerabilities will increase as the material world encapsulate people in government and non-government agencies with misled opportunities that are and petty victories that are meaningless in God's eyes. What good will there be or will do to you if you corrupt your soul? Seriously, taking doctorate degrees will be secondary if we adhere strictly to 16 tips that Robert Fogham in, uh, listed in his best-selling book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. This book was published in 1986, 35 years ago. But even in this time of pandemic, my dear graduates, the core message is still relevant, timely, and applicable. This we have to relate with our lives today and for the many tomorrows. Let me share with you. Number one, share everything. Dapat hindi tayo maging madamot kung ano man meron tayo. Pera, talino, o kung anong man yun, isi-share natin sa mga less, less, less fortunate who are slow in whatever, in, the, in whatever capacity. Number two, play fair. Huwag tayo maging maru. Ang buhay naman is really to be fair. Number three, don't hit people. Hitting people may not only be physically. Huwag na, huwag na tayo mag-chismis. Huwag na tayo maging super mabait. Magiging, ta, maging real lang tayo. Avoid na tayo peke. We are so blessed to be fake. Number four, put things back where you got them. Kung anong hiram, dapat natin ibalik. Number five, clean up your own mess before titingnan natin ang mess ng mga ibang tao. Dapat i-clean up muna natin ang sarili nating mess. Number six, don't take things that aren't yours. Kung hindi naman, hiram lang yun, dapat ibalik mo nga naman. Number seven, say sorry when you hurt somebody. And play and work every day. Number eight, wash your hands before you eat. And this is really something that we emphasize in the pandemic. This is part of our protocol na kailangan hand washing to do frequently, di ba? Number nine, flush. Flush the toilet, flush your anger, flush all the toxins from your body. And number ten, warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Ayan. You have a snack. Pero ngayon, hindi pa muna tayo mag-snack kasi online pa tayo. Okay? So, number 11, live a balanced life. Learn some, think some, draw and paint, sing and dance, and work every day. 
So yun. Number 12, it's a very common Filipino practice. Take a nap every afternoon. Okay. Pero yung mga iba, hindi na nap yan. Ha? Long sleep na. Number 13, when you go out into the world, watch out for traffic. Hold hands and stick together. In that's one way of saying, let us always be united and let us always hold each other's hands. Fourteen, be aware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup? The roots go down and the plant goes up and nobody really knows how or why, but we are all like that. Number 15, goldfish and hamsters. And while mice and even the little seed in the styrofoam cup, they all die, so we do. 16 and the last. Remember the Dick and Jane books and the first word you've learned. The biggest word of all, L-O-O-K, look. There you have it, my dear graduates. Whether you are in the undergrad or in advanced education, tell your story. Believe in yourself. Work hard for the seat you deserve. Smile when things go wrong and say, look. God is with me. March forward. Day by day, live with no expectation. Hope for the best and prepare for the worst. God will make a way for you and for me. Thank you. Muchas gracias a todos once more. A loud applause for the graduates, Batch 2021. A louder applause for the parents, loved ones, surrogates, faculty, administrators, and the P a PUP community. And the loudest applause be attributed to God. To Him, we give the highest glory. Maraming salamat po at magandang hapon ulit. The graduates with Latin honors from Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management. Escobedo William the Onion. Zamudio Daylin Pantalita. Anamer Nuel, Cum Laude. Mahares, Eliza Albotra, Cum Laude. Lustria, Rachel Dapo, Cum Laude. Novilia Maricris Marmol, Cum Laude. Masila, Joy Candor. From Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, Major in Corporate Transcription. Epino Belinda Dipala, Cum Laude. Jocales Leonie Jane Paraiso, Cum Laude. Mera Hiroshi Sen Timuteo Magna Cum Laude We will now hear from the top graduate, Mr. Hiroshi Sen T. Mera, from Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, the Magna Cum Laude of Class 2021, to deliver his speech in behalf of the graduates. To our commencement speaker, Dr. Milabed E. Ho, to the Honorable Members of the Board of Regents of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the University Executive Officials, headed by President Manuel E. Mujic, esteemed branch officials, beloved faculty members and administrative staff, to our dear parents, friends, and guests who are watching this virtual ceremony, and especially to the graduates just like me, a pleasant day to each and every one of us. It is a great honor and pleasure 
To speak on behalf of the graduates and words cannot contain the joy brought by this event. It has been more than a year since everyone has disrupted by the COVID-19 health crisis that greatly affected the educational system and made us adapt to a new normal mode of learning. May mga nakakasabay, may mga nakakasunod. Pero ang pinakamahalagang bahagi sa pagiging iskolar ng bayan ay ang pagsusumikap natin na makamit ang natatanging kalidad ng edukasyon na iniaalay sa atin ng sintang paaralan. Before is a day to dream. And today, we treasure this moment as we reach the crowning moment of our lives, this graduation. Sayang lang hindi tayo magkakasama sa araw na to, magmamarcha at akit sa entablado tangan ng ating mga diploma. Pero matapos nito, ano nga ba ang lubos nating natutuhan sa loob ng sintang paaralan? It's like a series of roller coaster rides filled with swirls, peaks, and downfalls. Nandiyan, natuwan-tuwa tayo dahil mataas ang score natin sa online quiz. Dumarating yung panahon na nakangarag tayo na mag-comply sa hanggang 11.59pm na deadline sa Google Classroom. Minsan, hindi na rin maipinta ang mukha kasi connecting pa or disconnected na sa online class. There are lots of unexpected struggles that we encountered. And yet, we managed to conquer and overcome the unforeseen circumstances amidst these happenings. Let me share my four important lessons that I have learned within our stay in the university. First lesson, believe in yourself and all that you are. As I took my first days as university student, I truly lacked confidence in gaining my social life. All that I know is the least what I can do and what I love to do. I joined in the publication of the university and I realized that I can contribute more and do better than what I can. The circles of life have grown bigger and bigger as PUP inscribed the Polytechnic Education. From a mere college student, I was also given the chance to run in the student council. Sabi ko nung una, di ko po kaya yan kasi hesitant ako sa kakayahan ko. As I streamed down the avenue of opportunities, great things and ideas came to flourish to see what I can do beyond limits. Hanggat may naniniwala at sumusuporta, gawin mo lahat ang makakaya mong gawin. And yes, I was the president of the Central Student Council for two consecutive terms mula sa simpleng kolehiyano. Great thanks to our Sintang Paaralan. As said from a commercial, they will unleash the beast in you. But in PUP, PUP will unleash the best in you. The second lesson which I have learned is to never stop learning because life is endless. We have invested ourselves in the pamantasang utak ang puhunan and this is a great capital towards epistemic communities. Kahit sa simpleng baon sa school at mga pamapamasahe o kaya sa mga load natin sa online class, ay napakalaking bagay na para tugunan ang puhunan natin sa kinabukasan. In addition, we are also blessed that we were given the privilege to acquire a free higher education. Hindi nagtatapos sa ating graduation ang pagkatuto at batid ko rin na may mga kasamahan tayong magtatrabaho na o kaya ay pagpapatuloy ang kanilang pag-aaral. That is why we should always look forward and see the pedestal of success, leaning towards learning within the corners of our school or online classes and living ahead with numbers of knowledge. Third lesson, do not fear failure. As said from a quote, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of it. 
Isa sa mga rason kung bakit hesitant ako sa pagtakbo sa council kasi takot ako mabigo. Sa kauna-una na ang event ko as a student council president, ayaw kong pumunta sa event kasi hindi ko alam kung ano unexpected na mangyayari. Umiiyak ako noon kasi hindi pa rin ako satisfied sa mga ginawa namin. And when I had the guts to go through our activity, my doubts turned into joy. The students were satisfied and the event was successful. Then, I realized we should be optimistic towards our goal, towards success. And the fourth lesson which we must never forget, we should always stay humble. As worded by Aristotle, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. All those grades, honors, and diplomas will be nothing if we never learn to keep our feet on the ground. Mas mahalaga na matatandaan tayo sa ating kababaan loob at ginito ang puso na nakibahagi sa loob ng sintang paaralan. With our humility, we will grow as a bigger and better person. We should never forget the good old lessons and memories we have enjoyed in our stay at PUP Lopez. Those college days will truly be missed. Baba umin po namin ang mga alaala at mga leksyon sa pagtahak namin sa bagong yugto ng buhay. And as we celebrate and conclude this momentous occasion, we should never forget those people who have supported, inspired, and believed on us. Maraming salamat po sa ating pinakamamahal na pamilya. Sa walang sawang pagmamahal at sakripisyo, maitaguyod lamang tayo sa pagtamo ng ating mga pangarap. Silang tangi nating takbuhan na siyang naniwala at nagbibigay ng nagaalab nilang suporta at tanglaw sa tuwing tayo'y nabibigo o kaya'y nawawala ng pag-asa. Sa mga kaibigan at kaklase natin, nakakampi sa loob at labas ng classroom. Thank you sa mga panahong karamay natin ang bawat isa sa pakikinig sa klase, tawanan, iyakan at kwentuhan. Mga kaibigan, thank you sa pagsasama natin dito sa PUP. We should also give thanks to our beloved alma mater, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, who have sheltered and nurtured us all these years we have spent in this haven and prepared us to be successful professionals in the future. Dito po namin lubos na nararamdaman ang tamis ng pag-ibig mula sa iyo, aming sinisintang paaralan. To our optimistic and dear professors, na walang sawang nag-alaga sa atin bilang ikalawang magulang at nagbahagi ng kanilang karunungan na tuloy-tuloy na inihahasik sa bawat eskola ng bayan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa wantusawang pasensya at pagpapagod ninyo sa amin sa paghahandog na natatanging edukasyon para sa aming kinabukasan. Special thanks to Dr. Lourdes Avila who primarily made my student career flourish when I was in the publication and in the Central Student Council as well to Sir Aquiles Mascardo and Assistant Professor Anarita Cortez. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagiging ama at inan nyo sa amin sa Bisowa. Sa aking mga naging profesor sa kolehiyo, ang karangalan pong ito ay para sa inyo. Pagdamutan po ninyo. And the most important one, our Almighty God, to whom we surrender ourselves through our faith. Kung wala ang ating pananalig sa Kanya, no one can ever replace the joy within our hearts as we tell ourselves, Thank you, Lord. Nakapagtapos na po ako. Another chapter has been finished, but there will be open doors that will allow us to enter the next episode of our challenging life. Nakakakaba, nakakaiyak. But what matters most is that we are courageous enough to take new steps towards our future. Napakalaking misteryo ang dala 
sa pagsulong natin sa kinabukasan. Ngunit tayo at tayo pa rin ang guguhit ng sarili nating kapalaran. I am rooting for you, my fellow graduates, for your triumphant career in the next years to come. Wag na wag natin kalilimutan ng mga katagang mula sa imno ng PUP. Mula sa iyo, para sa bayan. Let us commit ourselves to be the instruments for a better, brighter future of our country. Ako po, si Hiroshi Senmera, magna cum laude ng Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, major in Corporate Transcription, ang inyong batch representative mula sa PUP Lopez Quezon Branch. Ipinaabot ko po ang maligayang pagbati sa lahat na nagsipagtapos at padayon iskolar ng bayan. Muli, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management. With Assistant Professor, Altagracia A. Silaya as the Program Advisor. Abaha Mac June Argamosa. Alama Carmela Istamio. Ardevela Giancarlo Vasquez. Asilo Sara Jane Magtibay. Belmonte Mark Denver Katapang. Castro Gladen Biblanias. Kulawai, Angelica May Jordan. Di Guzman Christian J. Aguilos. Di Humo, Don Ismael Rana. Diamante Ira Bisorte. Tingalan John Paul Yamado. Hiliera, Ray Albert Bunayo. Enovejas, Juris Jade Altes. Escobido, Cheryl Kasha. Escobido, William Di Onyo. Cum Laude. Lamina, Gina Murillo. Yaneta, Jessa Murphy. Markaida, Mark Daniel Arbolente. Masaganda, Maricris Markaida. Masila, Joy Candor. Cum Laude. Nasyon, Maika Castro. Nolian, Altea May Mundido. Novilia, Maricris Marmol. Cum Laude Ongaria Ana Mer Noel Cum Laude Oropesa Henrik James Capilian Pajares Eliza Alvontra Cum Laude Peralta Christian Luis Aguirre Pilarca Jeril Febrer Monayo Jr. Bernardo Ibanez Raro Mary Ann Comintan Riobilo Zaraya Joy Mungo Reyes Erwin Divina Gracia Rodriguez Princess Caroline Gato Rustria Rachel Dapo Cum Laude Segara Shirley Prado Terol Markin Fialo Tolentino Apriline Porvina Valencia Riza Joy Lieva Villa Senor Maria Irish Maravilla Villegas Mark Vincent Nostal Zambudio Daylin Pantalita Cum Laude 
a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management. With Dr. Leilidin Wise Urbano as Program Advisor. Marquez Jan Christopher. The graduates of Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, major in Corporate Transcription. With their Program Advisor, Assistant Professor Aquiles Z. Mascardo. Abelia Jonabel Bareno. Alama Cyril Acuna. Alimanya Jessica Marvin. Aranya Acer Bonifacio. Argudo Angeli Marcaida. Bukatkat Bernie De Mesa. Goliada Lara Del Moro Digito Rigel Pertez Jocales Leone Jane Paraiso Cum Laude Epino Belinda De Pala Cum Laude Pajardo Cinderella Jacobo Fernandez Raymark Indo Galon Novelin Palino Garcia Marijoy Pabilando Herrera Jasmine Redito Lumibao Genevi Barreto Manata Edward Pablo Mera Hiroshisen Timoteo Magna Cum Laude Merhujo Jalu Ana Rose Doria Oliveros Lawrence J. Makabuhay Rhea Kenneth Rodelas Segui Rhea Joy Castillo Vaca Kenneth Ojo Villegas Ronaline Villien The graduates of Diploma in Electrical Engineering Technology With Engineer J.R. Carlos L. Arche as Program Advisor Alcaide Dan Ray Pailande Anda Jaisel Marie Huvida Buenaventura, Nico Kyle Cabase. Doliente, Francis Anda. Espalaguera, Lester Cano. Lorenzana Gadwen Paglinawan. The graduates of Diploma in Information Communication Technology. With their program advisor, Mr. Linnell P. Tabien. Alcantara, Kisha Nicole Villanueva. Andrada, Jake Maro San Juan. Arcega Florian, Buena Obra. Armamento, Lelaine Abaja. Bentonio Jr. Noel Nacor Bitancor Christine Riquinto Capucion Julian Basanta Kawas Arvin J. Alegre Corpus May Paro Dancing Charlotte Acueza Dizon Kyle Cedric Herrera Escasa Vince Noel Arevalo Ferman Katrina Crisel De Pelo Gita Jude Steven Pascor 
Ignacio Anime Rivera Hamito Shina Cortas Corvina Debbie Joy Huvida Jr. Judy Bituin Huntilia Wins Ferreras Magtibay Rochelle Sapanza Masaga Leyafe De Rosas Mercado Monica Grace Maizo Panganiban Cristel May Ignacio Pantoja Argelu Cusepe Ramirez Irobel Contreras Rongo Raymark Ray Sardinho Janeline Davis Shazon Prince Ivan Agnasi Villanueva Danrich Olanda Villaos King James Leonor Villapando Andre Rome Carello Zurbano Angelica Comintan The graduates of Diploma in Office Management Technology with a specialization in Legal Office Management, Section 1. With Assistant Professor Junicius A. Velasquez as Program Advisor. Arhel Melvin James Brigancia. Icardo Villa Luterte. Bacaro Lizel Rose Encinares. Barameda Janel Olbinado Binerao Yvette Bronjal Borja Kaylin Capansana Cañesares Jan Michael Orte Cabangon Jerry Barrios Comentan Jenny Villaraza De Rojas, Kenneth Irvin Lizano De Villa, Ella Marafe Argusino De La Cruz, Abigail Garcia Espedido, Marisol Galan, Jan Joven Manidlangan Lopez, Sherwin Manina Loreto Jerlyn Tarasina Ongaria Joycelyn Inofle Paglinawan Janica Segui Palmones Rica May Parco Panaglima Ivy Pilarca Riano Rubelin Almario Rica Fort, Joan, Dupango Ron Terrazzo, Kier, Christian, Tanteo Serrano, Miriam, Javier Susminya, Hazel, Macabata Talavera, Ryan, Angeli, Pantoja The graduates of Diploma in Office Management Technology with a specialization in Legal Office Management, Section 2. Alfuen Angelica Pitson. Andal Marvin Guno. Bituin Leia Eloisa Alano. Bobis Judy Ann Gonzalez. Rivera Mary Grace Carizo Encaliado J. Ann Arche Flores Yula Faula Florido Gakayan Jumela Taronas 
Heneblazo, Princess Modibel Espirito Hernandez, Cherry Ann Villanea Hofancha, Jubilene Abijo Mabilangan, Janica Burse Maligaya, Alisa Cabadin Patriarca Jennifer Sakido Landes Ariza Anda Prieto Renaline Enciso Ramirez Jennifer Rico Reyes Marjorie Goyo Satira Aramina Mira Sigi Marielle Eliza Antoinette Roldan Shaga Runel Mike Valencia Cecil Ann Pajares Vertucio Princess Pia Pacala The graduates of Diploma in Office Management Technology with a specialization in Medical Office Management Altamira, Christian Carlo Ariola. Junio, Iris May Marco. Pilarca Jr., Felix Wilberto Garcia. Santuyo, Ronald Jr. Barcenas. Itaas ang kanang kamay at ulitin ang aking mga sasabihin. Ako si, ako si Joyce Mariano, na nagtapos ng kursong ay buong pusong nanunumpa ay buong pusong nanunumpa na magiging tapat na magiging tapat sa lahat ng panahon sa lahat ng panahon sa mga adikain sa mga adikain panuntunan panuntunan at prinsipyo at prinsipyo ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ang aking sintang paaralan. Ang aking sintang paaralan at sa organisasyon ng mga alumni at sa organisasyon ng mga alumni na kumakatawan dito. Na kumakatawan dito. Ako ay nangangako. Ako ay nangangako. Na pagyayamanin ko. Na pagyayamanin ko. Ang aking napiling profesyon Ang aking napiling profesyon Na may paggalang Na may paggalang Sa mga alituntunin Sa mga alituntunin Ng Universidad at sa mga batas ng Pilipinas Ng Universidad At sa mga batas ng Pilipinas Hindi ako gagawa Hindi ako gagawa Ng anumang bagay na ikasasama Na kanyang pangalan Na kanyang pangalan Bagkus Bagkus Ay aking itataguyod Ay aking itataguyod Ang kanyang pangalan Lalong ikahuhusay Ang kanyang pangalan Lalong ikahuhusay At ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan At ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan Bilang iskola ng bayan Bilang iskolar ng bayan na kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral na kumikilala sa estado sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral inaalay ko ang aking buhay iniaalay ko ang aking buhay husay at talino husay at talino bilang kapaki-pakinabang bilang kapaki-pakinabang na mamaya ng Pilipinas na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Ako ay maglilingkod Ako ay maglilingkod sa aking kapwa-tao sa aking kapwa-tao para sa ikaunlad ng aking bayan. Para sa ikaunlad ng aking bayan. Ipinapangako ko Ipinapangako ko na maging matapat na magiging tapat at malayang susuporta at malayang susuporta sa mga adikain at programa ng mga asasyon ng alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Sa mga adikain at programa ng asasyon ng mga alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad
Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Lahat ng ito, Lahat ng ito ay aking tutup din, ay aking tutup din ng walang anumang pasubali, ng walang anumang pasubali o pag-aaring langan. Kasi haan na wat ako ng may kapal. Kasi haan na wat ako ng may kapal. Mabuhay ang mga bagong nagsipag tapos. The PUP Him. concludes the commencement exercises of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Lopez Quezon Branch. Congratulations to our graduates! Remember the words spoken by our commencement speaker, Dr. Hong, and I quote, You will be one of the many who shall survive the aftermath of the pandemic and want to experience the first rainbow of the new normal. Follow your heart. Set yourself free to do the things that will lead you to your destiny. I am Devimar Markaida, your Master of Ceremonies. Thank you for celebrating with us. 